me at all. So there's microphones coming in. There we go. Thank you, Moose. <laughs> this is why I keep Moose around to help me. So hello, Internet. Welcome. Uh, this is my stream. I am amped. We are doing something a little different tonight. So as some of you may know, I have been pretty obsessed with Eve Echoes. So we've been playing a lot. And the corporate men decided that we were going to put on a little tournament. We are Samurai. Organix, thank you so much for that prime sub right out of the gate. I appreciate that. And so um, I got to remember not to hold on one second. My tournament window went away. So that's we're already off to a great start. <laughs> All right, well, I'll fix that in a second. So anyway, what are we doing here tonight? We are putting on a 1v1 frig battle. It's a cheap battle. So the ships have a max budget of 2 million. They have to stay in tech 5 or lower gear in ships. So most of these are going to be tech 4 or lower ships probably. And uh, with tech 5 fittings or lower, so very cheap. They're going to go 1v1. I have a bracket set up here. Uh, let me... And we will work on getting that. There we go. Up on the screen so you can see it. Uh, I will be able to flip between a couple things here. So I'll be able to pull up just the bracket like this. And then I'll be able to pull up the ships like this. Uh, our first two contestants are set. We are going to be doing Edward Blood versus Shura, both of the hand corp. Uh, they are going to be at about 20 clicks apart and then we're going to yell go and they're going to fight till someone gets potted. And then uh, we are going to run through the bracket, as you can see below, and we're going to give out prizes at the end. So um, I have a quick note here. So there is a hundred million dollars worth of prizes. Uh, 50 of that was put up by hand, which is our corp, which if you want information on our discord, you can type explanation point corp in the chat and it will give you the discord uh, as always i gotta plug us we are recruiting so if you're interested there's that and then um let's see where's my other note spqr uh they donated the other 50 mil in prizes so first place will get 75 of that and second place will get 25 of that so that's where we are um i'm going to do my best to also play cameraman and commentator uh we might have some interviews with some of the pilots. This is our first test run at this. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go, so bear with us. Uh, but I think we're going to have some fun here today. Um, all right, so I guess we will get started here with our first fight. Again, this is uh, Edward Blood and Shura of the Hand Corp. Uh, one second here. Yep, one second here. I'm trying to figure out. All right, one second here. Uh, uh, who wants to say go? Since I'm going to probably be off comms. Jerk, are you just going to go in local and then I'll just watch and see what happens? All right. Uh, yes, I can do that. Okay, we are back. Sorry, I had a little more logistical things. All right, so first up we have Edward Blood. He is in a Tristan, and then we have Shura over here in the Punisher. Yeah, Punisher, here we go. So uh, again, cheap fits. We're just gonna watch these guys duke it out. Uh, I'll try to f switch between them. I'm watching their bars over on the side. Team Shura, let's go. Well, uh, yeah, hype and chat for your pilot, whoever you wanna see win. Um, and I'm gonna tell them that I am ready. Uh, oh, you're gonna see some of my chat come up. You just ignore that. All right, I'm gonna give them the signal to go. And we will watch. Dirk is going to give them the signal when I say ready, and then we will record this and see how it goes. I 
Again, uh, so the Tristan is a drone boat. I believe the Punisher is a laser boat. So this should be interesting. I'm I'm curious. Uh, so we got armor here. I'm not. I was working on getting somebody who's better at the ship mods to know whether they were armor tanks or whatever. Um, all the hype. Thank you very very much. Thank you, wife. Appreciate that too. And uh, yeah. So we are, we'll see. So drone boat versus laser boat. That'll be definitely an interesting. I'm, I'm curious how many people are going to go brawler. I'm curious how many people are going to go uh, distance and kite and how that all works. Uh, the players cannot warp off grid. If they do, they're disqualified. Uh, each player had to stay under two mil for weapons and mods. Um, we're just waiting for everybody to ready up in chat. Okay, we got movement. They are not allowed to pre lock, so the idea is. They are waiting for signal to go. They will lock and then they will engage. I'm actually sitting in a ship right in the middle. Let's see if I can zoom out here. You can see just about how far apart they are. They are in the purple ships. I have them fleeted. Oh, you can't quite see that in the stream. There we go. Here we go. All right, they're fighting. The drones are out. Sure is trying to really close the gap quickly here. Lasers are up. Let's observe. It's trying to get an orbit off. Oh, we take early damage on Sure is through the shields already. Edward sells shields. They're both through shields into armor now. They are orbiting each other in some crazy weird dance. I'm actually kind of surprised that Tristan isn't trying to like burn out away. Okay, Edward is down half through his armor now. Sure is starting to take armor. Sure, a ship is just blazing through. I'm not sure the drones can keep up. <laughs> okay, uh, sure is now a quarter in. Oh, we got a heal off from Edward. Uh, so we're both at half armor on both ships right now. This is actually pretty neck to neck at the moment. See if we can try to see if these drones are actually uh, even attacking. There we go. Yep, they're swarming. All right, sure is actually down into 10% of his armor. Edward is actually back up to full armor now. Oh, we have hull damage on Shura now. Okay. Try to play this camera work angle here. Sure is at half hull. Edward is down to almost no armor. Oh, and we got pod. Oh no. Edward takes the first fight. All right. Well, that was already crazy. I was actually quite, quite happy with that. All right, so there we go. First one in the tournament. So if I bring up the bracket here. We can see uh, Edward and Sure were on the bottom, but we wanted to. We just started with whoever was kind of ready first. So let's see if I can um, see how we make somebody win here. I guess is the next question. <laughs> hey, Am. Yeah. Hey. Um, just gonna drop in and out just to like you know what. Yeah. Uh, Robbie and Van are next, so I'm gonna tell them to uh, get a twenty click from you. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I got to figure out how to forward them but uh, into the next bracket. But that went pretty well, I think. I was able to watch the fight reasonably well. And it went back and forth. So that was kind of fun. Awesome. Um, you need me to add them to fleet, right? Uh, yeah. The, the idea would be let's drop these guys and then add them. And then uh, Ed can jump out and get healed up for the next fight. 
Okay. That, that you'll have. Thank right, you, so. sir. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. Okay. So, oh, start the tournament. That might that might actually be worth something. There we go. Uh, Mark is in progress. Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out this uh, verify winner. There we go. All right, we did it. And it, it populated. Look at that. Pro streamers, guys. Pro streamers right here. Hype and chat for pro streamer. <laughs> All right. So, unfortunate for sure, gang. Uh, Edward gang, you are the winner there. Uh, let's see. We are working pro streamer. Woo! <laughs> All right, so uh, you can see the bracket. We're going to work through this for the next, I, I'm guessing this will probably take about an hour. Uh, right now, Durka is working on, who is kind of helping me coordinate this, is working on getting the next two contestants up and running here. I should see them join fleet soon. I'll let you know which ones we pick. I know it's not quite in order from top to bottom, but there was some logistics. We're just, I don't think it really matters who starts. Oh, it's Ashura has joined us. Sure, would you like to do a post-game interview? I sure would. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how did it feel to get beat up by a drone boat? Um, pretty bad, honestly. You know, <laughs> I came out of the star pretty hard because you know lasers do a lot of shield damage. Um, yep. My strategy was uh, since the Punisher has its, uh, it has like an armor tank bonus. Yep. I was trying to see if maybe I could do like a newt passive tank uh it just outlast with more uh you know with more just outlast them without having to worry about my reps but uh it came really close in the end but i ended up i cycled my armor plate too early and wasted the uh you know the extra armor from it and i think that's ultimately what led me to lose yeah through the commentary i was like oh we got you came out to an early lead and took in and then he apparently had an armor rep because he started healing <laughs> yeah he did and uh, yeah. I, I i cycled mine when i was in shield and i didn't even really get to use to benefit from it and as soon as it came back off the 60 second cooldown uh he also ran a newt um and he, he ended up dropping me nice uh, i couldn't even activate it so uh, oof. props to edward yeah <laughs> hard oof Nice. Well, I think that went really well. Uh, yeah, think, condolences on your loss, but <laughs> I think it went well. <laughs> that is okay. So I think Dirk is setting up the next group for us here. Let's see who we got. Looks like Robbie. So I'll follow. Which means we are talking... Robbie Titan versus Vanessa Thriss. Okay, Vanessa is now in group. I will follow her. Or him. Sorry. It's just a name. Uh, um, oh, that's kind of a bummer. Maybe range. Do I need to sort by range? I don't think they have to be. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a Griffin being run by Nessa. Not even sure what that ship does, I'll be completely honest. Oh yeah, distance works, perfect. And looks like Atron 2. Yep, by Robbie. Somebody's playing a little poke. That's kind of fun. Piper Fang. Okay, so. Let's see here. We'll zoom back into the ships because you'd probably rather see them than me.
Again, we're just kind of waiting here. They're setting up the next fight. So we got Vanessa Robbie, Atron versus the, I forget what, I don't even, the Griffin. Pretty gnarly looking ship. I'm, I am I know the Galante Atron is a shield and, or I'm sorry, a uh, armor railgun boat. I actually don't know anything about the Griffin. So that's uh, gonna be interesting. I think next time we might try to get like Matri, Matri in here or something just to have him comment on like what each ship kind of strengths and weaknesses are. He's kind of our resident uh, Wikipedia <laughs> of Eve. So the Griffin is a missile frig with bonuses to electronic jammers, which aren't in the game yet, but it does have. Uh, you know, uh, it's got a lot of high and lows, and 8% uh, per level for advanced frig. Hello, guys. Uh, yep. uh, there, fighters are ready. I'm going to get the fight started. Sounds good. I am ready. I am zoomed in on this Griffin, and yeah, we're ready. Thank you, Dirk. Okay, next one's up. There are 20 clicks out. Again, no lock to begin with, no pre-lock. I have given them the ready signal. We're waiting for them to ready up. Okay, we got movement. Oh, nobody's done anything yet. <laughs> We're just kind of waving. Whoops, that's the wrong boat. Still no firing. Well, I mean, something's got to be happening. Robbie is out of shields. I don't see any firing, though, so this is odd. <laughs> uh, Robbie is definitely out of shields. Oh, I appreciate that subscription. Thank you so much, Folly CU. So, so far, Vanessa has no damage taken. Robbie is almost through shields. He's diving in. I don't know if it's not rendering, but I'm not seeing railguns hit yet. Unless he's hitting him with something else that also was not rendering. Can't even see them. There we go. They seem to be quite a distance apart. Robbie is still sitting at about 20% shields. Vanessa's full health still. Guess these guys are just dancing. <laughs> Robbie is now through shields completely. I'm not sure if Vanessa is just kiting him and maybe he's running snub nose and can't get in quick, close enough to fire. Maybe it's a battle of attrition. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe Robbie's trying to keep range on uh, Vanessa with the speed to try to recoup his cap and uh, his shield possibly. Yeah, it's very possible. I don't. It's not rendering any weapons fire. We now have Robbie into shields or into armor. Robbie's repaired that though, so it looks like he has an armor rep. <laughs> big big subs thank you so very very much again shout out to folly shout out to oh, my subs are minimized here organics thank you so very much for those prime subs i do appreciate that okay we got robbie back down into armor again these guys are so far apart, I'm having a hard time following <laughs> where the fight was. 
but you guys are fighting it was quite easy it was quite fun to track that this is uh yeah we ju we just clashed in the middle man we both yep. approached full speed <laughs> and it was fun to watch you dance around each other in orbit it was kind of fun all right so uh we are still okay it looks like robbie is healed again with the rep he's back up to full strength armor no shields vanessa is still full health completely uh, looks like Robbie is, must be trying to keep distance because he's burning away from Vanessa right now. Still no blows landed on Vanessa. Robbie's taking uh, armor damage again. Probably need to time limit these next time. <laughs> you got 60 seconds to blow up your friend. Yeah, big props to everybody who's coming out tonight. We got quite a crowd in the Discord. We had 16 participants for the fight. Once again, for anybody just joining us, it's $100 million worth of prizes on the line. We got 75 mil for the first place and 25 for the second uh no way to tell third place so they don't get anything sorry Okay, well, we're, we're still circling at long range. Robbie is still taking some armor damage. Vanessa is still at full health. Got a quick request here. Is that from Kel? All right, we're still still sitting in place. I'm not I'm not really sure how to call this. Uh, these guys are just still staying at range. The Atron seems to be fat. Oh, the Atron has moved in, and we're just now getting some of those railgun hits on. Vanessa is now about ninety percent into shields. He's trying to burn away from the Atron. Atron seems to be orbiting at a pretty good velocity, which is Robbie. Robbie is in the Atron. Uh, Robbie is now at half armor. Vanessa is about 75% shields. I still don't actually see weapons being fired from Vanessa's ship, so I don't know if that's a glitch. <laughs> I can see the weapons. So maybe it, the next run in, warp in and out. I can see it from here. Is he shooting missiles? Is that? Uh, I can't observe it. I think it might be because I'm cloaked. But I see, I see railgun shots being fired. I do see the railgun shots. I don't see anything coming from Vanessa though. The railguns are coming from, I think. Well, maybe they both have railguns. Okay, so uh, we they both seem to have shield reps here. So, or at least uh, Robbie has armor reps. Maybe shield reps on Vanessa. Vanessa is now back up to almost full shields, and Robbie is at full armor again. So this might be a war of cap. Maybe cap will be the deciding factor who runs out of cap on their heels. Or maybe this will be the entire stream as these two <laughs> fighting for the next hour.
Okay, Robbie is down to 90% armor again. Vanessa is once again at full health. Okay, and yeah. uh, so, so these guys are just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not moving very much, so they agreed to call it a draw, and what we'll do is we'll reshuffle them with some of the other contest contestants. Um, is it... So uh, because they're ju they're just both repping, right? Yeah, they're just they're, they're, one of them is kiting, the other one's repping. So, <laughs> you know, so there's there's no end in sight. So um, hopefully they don't meet each other in the final. <laughs> um, are you you fine with this? All right, however you want to run it. So we want to move them with somebody else. Yeah, I'll shuffle them around to, with some other contestant. Uh, next fight is going to be Dorsai and James. So I'm going to tell him to get in position. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll just grab some eight random and mix these two up. If it lets me. I'm not even sure how we can do that. We are Samurai. Sequel 7, thank you so much for that subscription. I appreciate that so very, very much. It looks like, all right, so here's where we are with that fight, if anybody was paying attention. So we had Robbie and Vanessa fighting, and it looks like they were both playing the long game, and maybe it was too long. So they both agreed to kind of call this one, I guess, a draw, and we might shuffle the bracket up a little bit just to see if we can get it moving. Um, I guess we will have to try to plan for that next time, maybe put a time limit, maybe put something else on. So, <laughs> uh, But I will try to match them up with two other people that have not gone yet. So it looks like we are setting up to have, let's see, I can bring the bracket up so people can see it a little better. Solomon and James looks like they will be the next contestants here. So we're going to get them in fleet, get them set up. Let's see if I can reset camera. Why am I moving? Okay, I'm going to reset my zero here real quick. Okay, so we're going to reset zero because for some reason my afterburner got kicked on and I ran away. It was burning out. question is I don't know if I can right. both are cap stable <laughs> okay I just got a message too that they are both cap stable so that was that was gonna go on for a very very long time Okay, so we're setting up, we have a Condor 2, it looks like, versus an Executioner 2. Looks like they're setting up here. I know the Condor is a missile boat. Not sure what Executioner is. Is that a laser or also missile? It is an Amar laser frigate. Laser, gotcha. So 
So it'll be interesting to see if we're going to go Brawler with both of these guys. Or if somebody's keeping range. They are ready. I'll start the fight. Okay, it looks like I am ready as well. Thank you, Dirk. Get the ships back up here. Okay. So James Wagner and Solomon. We got Executioner 2 versus a Condor 2. Lasers versus missiles, most likely. What's up, Spectre Speed? Yes, we are all very, very nerdy. The fight has begun. Solomon is burning in hard. Looks like James is trying to kite. He's burning away. Um, shoot, I don't have... Follow. Follow. Looks like Solomon, though, is down into... About half. Nope, he is now out of shields. James is at full. Nope, he just lost all shields now, too. They are now both out of shields. James is into armor. Looks like the Executioner is catching and starting to orbit. We have some shield repping going on. The Condor is in half hull already. Solomon is got the win. Oh, wow, that was quick. Nice work, guys. James has been potted. Solomon goes on to the next round. I'm very surprised that uh, the Condor, uh, its alpha can be pretty deadly. Yeah, I'm still... I, I warped out and warped in. I'm not really seeing the missile animations, but he must have been getting some hits in. But he must... I don't know if he wanted to keep the execution at range and could not fly him. Uh, let's see here. How do I... I think the Executioner is really fast. Um, so is the Condor as well. So maybe, you know, they had the advantage there. Should we pull one in for a post-fight interview? Sure. All right, where's Solomon? Is he his name in chat oh, i don't know if he's there do you know which one of the ones in uh discord is solomon uh i do not i'll check uh oh it's doris doris here we go Hey, Solomon. I'm yanking you out of the general chat. I don't know if you, you got a mic. Oh, yeah. Hey, so po we're going to do a post-fight interview. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just how do you think things went? How do you think you had the advantage? Looks like you uh, were able to burn in on him. Uh, he was trying to kite you maybe a little bit. Yeah, he was just trying to kite me. It went pretty good. I just had to outrun his kite. And then after that, it was a matter of getting my double webs on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, double webbed. I was it, that it looked like you at least webbed him once, so it was yeah. good strategy. I mean, with the pulse lasers, you got to have two, especially if you're going to Condor, because they got the range with the missiles. Absolutely, those pulse lasers after six kilometers don't do a whole lot of nothing. Nice, cool. All right, well, uh, good luck in the bracket. Uh, you're allowed to burn off to. Uh, nine seven or wherever we said to get healed up for your next fight all right thanks a lot thanks <laughs> hey Derek, i grabbed you what's up um we're ready for the next fight so it's going to be joe arison and robbie they're both in position so if you're good to go i'll start the fight joe and all right let me are they close enough to me let's see joe is right here so what do we got here we got condor two and an atron two all right very interesting all right I got the bracket. Uh, one note, uh, I don't know how to edit this now that we have started the tournament. Yep. So we'll have to get creative with how we... I'm, I'm doing it all manual on the sheet of paper. So okay. as, as long as you can keep track of who's winning, uh, we'll, we'll adjust the bracket accordingly. I mean, I, the bracket is working, but I just mean for that last fight that... Uh, or not the one before that where they tied and we're going to try to reshuffle. I don't know how to yep. reshuffle it once it started, but... Um, we'll just, yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am prepped and I am observing. Uh, let me get them on follow and then we can start. Okay. Again, I'm ready. 
Thanks. All right, I'm good. All right, so we got rail guns versus missiles, most likely. Again, everybody's starting about 20 kilometers out. Uh, Durka will tell them to go. And they will start to burn. Good night, Dad. Oh, that's my son using my wife's account on Twitch. Good night, my boy. All right, we got action already. Okay, both uh, Robbie and Joe are fighting. Oh, Robbie is down into armor already. Joe is at about half shields. Uh, the alpha from that condor hit really hard. Oh no, Robbie is already down into hall. Or about he's repped some about half of his armor back, but he's only got about a quarter of his hall. He's at about half armor now. Oh, armor gone. Another volley from those missiles. Uh, he's repping back up. He's got about a. Oh, there it is. And we got pod. Rob is potted. The winner is the Condor 2 from Joe, the missile boat, versus the railguns. Uh, the Condor is Kaldari, so it is shield tank. Is that right? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, Joe, I'm taking you into the private room for the post fight interview. Looks like you had the the big win. You got a mic? You're good? Oh, he, he muted himself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to do it. I don't know. Wait, what? Hey, I'm, I yanked it down into the stream. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> post, post fight interview with the winner, right? So Condor 2, the missiles went over the rail gun. Uh, I guess so, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I just approached and double webbed. <laughs> oh, double webbed. Double webbed seems to be a strategy that has won two fights now. So slow them down. You're able to get those hits, land those hits a lot harder, especially on Atron, which is quite fast. So. Seems to be yeah. quite a good strategy. Yeah, I figured with the missiles, the double web is the best idea. So Yeah, all right. Just like to get hit hard. Great. Right. Well, thank you. Uh, go heal up, and good luck in the rest of the tournament. All right. Thank you. All right. I didn't tell any of them I was going to do the post-game interview, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all so bad. <laughs> all right. Oh, hey, whoa, I broke the brackets. Let's see if we can get it back here. There we go. All right, so let's uh, gotta remember not to minimize that. All right. So bracket five and bracket six is complete. So that means we now know uh, what bracket 11 will be in the next round, which will be Selman versus Joe Harrison. Looks like our next fight will now be uh, Bobby. Let's see. Bobby Count Medic versus Vanessa Thrish. See if we can see what they're flying here. Hey, okay. the fighters are ready. All right, so we got Vanessa back in the Griffin again, uh, who was part of our last f oh, against another Atron too. <laughs> are, are we, we going to have like a ten minute dance again? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. All right, uh, are they going to warp out to us when they get ready, or how we? They are 
they say they're ready. I'm not quite sure exactly on their position, but I've told them to be at 20 click. So right. I'm going to warp out to them just so I'm closer to them because they're like 250 from us. Warp drive active. All right. Griffin versus Atron 2. I am ready. All right. Great. Uh, I'll go tell the boys. All right. Thank you. All right, so let's bring the ships back up. So once again, we have a missile boat versus railgun boat. Uh, I apologize. The, the missiles don't seem to show up on the observe when I do it. So I'll try to keep you posted to their health and progress as they go. Okay, they are... On their way here, Vanessa's doing the waggle again. So far, no damage has been taken. I see fire from the Atron. It's hitting Vanessa, not doing a whole lot. Bobby took a little bit of damage, but looked like he might have repped that as well. Yep, he's running shield reps. It does look like Vanessa is kiting quite hard. Bobby is taking like about 25% of his shield per volley, but is able to heal it up before he hits, gets hit by another volley. Seems like the damage output will not allow for a war of attrition here. I think they won't be able to remain cap stable for long. Yeah, it does look like Bobby has to run that full time rep to keep his shields up. But unfortunately, I can't see their cap, but he is taking about 25% or or so of his shield every time he gets hit. I don't know if Vanessa is just out of range, but he is not doing any damage. Vanessa's not doing any damage? <laughs> no, he's not taking any damage. My apologies. Spectre, what is up with you? No appearance of the kiddo tonight? No, no, I told him not to run in on this one. All right, so it looks like either he capped out or he just shut it off to save cap. Because he does not appear to... And he is now almost down to 25%. As he's returned to the shield rep. It's back up to 75%-ish, almost back up to full. It does look like he is having to shut it off to save some cap. FK War, hello! Do I, do I know enough to host this? I was hoping to get somebody a little more expertise. I, I am not super old, bro. I'm, I've only played this version of Eve and only since it came out a little over a month ago. Okay, Bobby is now turning away from the fight. I'm not sure if he's trying to kite out to save Cap. He's now out. His uh, shields are now at almost zero. He is into armor now. He's returning to repping. He is trying to re-engage the fight. I don't know if he was trying to bait him in to get a little bit of closing distance on him. Surprisingly, the Atron 2 is quite a fast ship. I'm not sure if he's... What Vanessa is running to keep speed. Oh, Bobby is now down into 25% of his armor. Does not look like he's able to run his rep for the shields any longer. He might be capped out. We are now all the way through armor. Shield rep is back on. Don't lock at him. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Join in the fight here. My guess is Bobby's struggling with his cap right now. He is back up to 25% shields, but he had to already shut it off. Oh, he's back on. He just took another volley. He's now into haul. He's got about 5% of his haul missing. 
Vanessa still is not taking any damage. And he's cutting at a pretty astronomical speed. Uh, so I don't know if the Griffin... Does the Griffin get a bonus to micro warp drives or what? Because he is... I don't think so. Completely outclassing the speed on this Atron. As far as I know, the Atron is like nearly the second, like probably the second fastest like frig. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to ask, you know, her. We'll have to get Vanessa in here for an interview. See what's going he's, on. He's now at 25% haul. It looks like this might be the it. A little more rep, but I don't know if that's going to help with the next volley he's going to take. He's trying to He's trying to run away now a little bit. Vanessa still is not taking any damage. Bobby has managed to recoup 25% of his shield, but he's only got probably 20% maybe of his haul left. He's in very, very bad shape. If he's trying to find some cap or not, he's about 20% shield, 20% haul. He's found a little bit of cap, returned to repping. He's managing to stay out of harm's way here. He's, he's back up to about 50% of his shields. I have some music. Is it not loud enough there? I think it could be a little louder. There you go. Turn it up a little bit. All right, he's back down to 20%, zero armor and 20% haul. Vanessa's still just running circles, no damage. Okay, shields are now gone. He's trying to rep one more time. Vanessa needs one more good volley just to bite off the rest of that haul, and he'll have this fight if he can keep it. He, Bobby does seem to be trying to kite this a little bit more just to see if he can find some shields, which he's now done. He was able to get enough cap to run his rep to get full shields. He's back to full shields. Not sure uh, what the game plan here is, though, to re-engage this fight and try to get damage on Vanessa. He needs to bait him in to get uh, close range, I'm guessing. But I'm not sure he's going to do that. Vanessa still is not taking any damage. Let's see here. If they're so far away from me, I can't even uh, observe them the traditional way. Yeah, well, let me switch observation. <laughs> They've gotten. They're like 200 clicks away from me. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, do we call this at some point? Because <laughs> it does it does appear that Vanessa has this nearly one, but uh, and Bobby is now almost just kiting to keep. Oh, he's he's returned some fire. Is running the rail guns now, but I don't see damage being taken. Boot him out, <laughs> Spectre says.
All right, so I'm not sure what we do here. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you guys can't see the health statistics. I wish there was a way to drag that element into the screen, but we are still sitting at full shields on Bobby with only about 20% haul. Uh, Vanessa is completely undamaged. What we got, Dirk? Um, well, I think you've just resumed really well, uh, but it seems, uh, it seems uh, Vanessa is going to try a different strategy. Um, at some point, body count got really low into a hole. Uh, but yeah, he, he's sitting at about 20% haul, no armor, and yeah. is, seems to be kiting just to keep shields up, and he has not landed like a blow on Vanessa at all. Sure, sure. So Vanessa got this strange long range build which um, with missiles. Yep. Um... And, uh, but I, I think they're, they're starting to maneuver. Uh, Vanessa seems to be going a little bit more aggressive, uh, in order to, you know, uh, get, get, get the kill, right? Yeah, he was super close, so. Maybe a note for next time. We'll have to come up with some timing rules and say, whoever's. In the worst yeah. shape after like X amount of minutes, right? Or just after a certain amount of time, like you guys need to close the distance, like go to ten kilometer and brawl it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be a good way to do it because it does still appear that Bobby is just kiting for his life to keep the armor rep cap stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, it doesn't seem like he's shooting, so he's really trying to survive here, outmaneuver Vanessa. Get in a better position. Um, you can see the way he's mad. You can see Vanessa is just orbiting, right? But he's, yep. he seems to be trying to get like in the opposite direction, just start aligning. Um, but I guess Vanessa just got speed on him, um, and he just really can't get away. It looks like he landed a couple of blows, but he's still repping. Oh, yeah. Bobby's turning it's, into the fight. Maybe they're getting. It's, it's, his hole's going down, he's taking damage. Like, uh, slowly but surely, it's going down. Uh, and by the way, I found you a co-host. Uh, Robbie is down to, to help you comment. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if, you, if you're fine, I'll just drop in here. Sure. More the merrier. Yeah. Sure has been doing research for me, so. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what a griffin was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, these guys are getting into a little more brawly action here. Uh, it looks like Bobby's taking advantage of the more aggressive Vanessa move and trying to land some of these. I don't know if he's running sh snub noses or what, but he's not. Oh, he's landed some shields. Vanessa's taking the most amount of damage he's taken the whole entire fight. He's down to about 50, 60 shields, down to 25. He's actually almost out of shields now. Oh, we are now into half armor on Vanessa. Vanessa is now taking into hull. Not Vanessa does not seem to be returning fire well. Oh, it looks like we might have a winner here. Oh my goodness, Bobby turns it around with that brawler tactic. Not sure how he closed that distance, but was actually able to put the hurt on the Griffin. Vanessa being potted, Bobby moves on to the next round. And I got Robbie in here. Hello, Robbie. Hey. Robbie, what is up? Welcome to the streamer area. VIP lounge, I guess, is what we're at here. <laughs> so that was definitely an interesting fight. Uh, I When we put this on, I was quite curious if we were going to have a lot of kiters or brawlers. It seems like most people have gone for somewhat of a kite build. Uh, the couple brawlers that have won, though, uh, were double webbing to keep people from kiting. So that's been quite interesting. All right, here. Uh, I got to deal with some Diplo stuff. I got to drop out for that. Okay, thanks, sure. Are you pulling for interview? Uh, let's see. I will pull. I'm gonna pull Vanessa in for this one here. Which one is... There's a lot of people in here right now. Uh, did he just drop? He might have just dropped. Uh, he's... Yep. 
Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's see. Bobby the medic is X E X. I don't see his name in there either. He's under uh, SPQI. Oh, Bobby the medic, right there. Okay, I'll pull him in. Hey, Bobby, you got Mike? We're gonna. Uh, I pulled you down into the stream room, so don't get too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's uh, talk about that fight for a little bit. Sure. So uh, you were in the Atron two. It looks like Vanessa had range and speed on you. Uh, uh, but, yeah, definitely. And you were down to like about twenty percent haul for a little bit, and then you're able to kite a bit to get some cap back. It looks like. Yeah, and then I guess he decided to come into range, and as soon as I got him in web, it was over. But until then, I was pretty much at his mercy. Gotcha. So are, are you running uh, rifled or snub nose rails on that? I'm running snub nose. Gotcha. So, so you needed been a bad choice. You needed that brawler action to really get the, the upper hand on somebody. Exactly. exactly. Gotcha. Cool. Well, uh, you're able to jump off grid to get to repair it up for your next round and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right I'm going to zoom out here. So, <laughs> yeah, his, his build was an interesting one, but so, so my essentially, and he's not wrong. He had the wrong guns, but, um, Thriss, unfortunately I gave a little information mid fight that made it so he could avoid being hit you know, <laughs> got that information. Thriss couldn't hit him anymore. So Thriss had to come in close enough to actually start hitting, um, which made it so that he got in web range and died. Um, I, yeah, that was unfortunate. I was even <laughs> waiting until the fight was over to say something. And then someone else said something. So I commented on it and explained it. But... I forgive you, Robbie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I was curious if that's what he, cause once he started kiting out of range, he stopped taking so much damage. I wonder if he was trying to bait him in to get close enough. And that does appear to be what he did. Is once he got into that seven kilom or the twelve kilometer range or so, he got webs on him, and then that brawler just kind of. Well, so as far as I know, from what they were talking, he was just constantly approaching. He he wasn't he wasn't orbiting. He was just trying to get in close because he had to because he's a yep. Um, but he was moving so fast. I'm not gonna lie. I honestly think he didn't have his afterburner on in the beginning <laughs> or whatever it was. Because he was taking more hits. Yes. He was moving somewhat fast, but not fast enough. And then as soon as he turned that on and approached, um, he the the missiles couldn't track him enough. Um, the, the explosion was too slow. Yes. Yeah, I was. I, I normally fly at Natron, so I was, I was surprised at the speed disadvantage at first uh, because Atrons are quite fast. He's He uh, he went pretty kitey with his Griffin. He yes. showed me his fit. It, and it was... It's a good fit because obviously in, in frigate fights, you win if you control the engagement. Frigate fights come down to who has the most speed. After that, who can engage in the longest range? So even if you can't control the range, if you can... Go ahead. Hey, uh, the fighters are ready. So if you're ready on your side, we'll start the fight. Okay, so we got a Slasher versus Condor 2. This is Viper Fang and Organics. Yeah, I think I am ready. Okay, I'll get the boys ready. Uh, Slasher is cannons? Yes. And we have Condor, which is missiles again. Missiles. Yep. For the most part, unfortunately, because missiles have their buff, they're going to probably be winning. We'll see. All right, looks like the fight has started. Viper and the Slasher is... Looks like he's on dead approach, trying to get into range. And it looks like Organics has hit him with the first volley. It's taken most of his shields down. He's at about 20%. He's now about 20% armor already <laughs> on the second volley. 
He has not landed any hits on organics yet in the condor. Seems to be trying to keep range. And Viper is now halfway through the hall. From the another volley. I wish the missiles would render in the observing mode. They don't seem to for some reason. And there it is. That was quick. Organics lands the final blow on the ex or the uh ship here in Pod's Viper. Slasher. Slasher, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm curious too, most of these people look like they're, because they're in the, the Type 2 versions, so the Interceptor versions, they get the Afterburner bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering how many people are rocking Micro Orb Drives. Yeah, I'm not sure, because the Micro Orb Drive increases your signature enough that you'd be getting hit very easily. Sure. But as a brawler, if I can use that to get in, to yes. love you and then shut it off. 100%. Yeah, that would be exactly how you'd want to use that. Uh, it doesn't... My guess is that I have not seen anybody that seems to be running one of those to be able to keep that speed up. Right. Yeah. All right, here. So that was Viper and Organics. We're going to say Organics won that, right? All right. Uh, let's pull Organics in. Is he in? Should have made everybody change their name to their... Oh, yep, he's right here. Organic Sky Mike. Yes, I do. Hey, so that was a f fun fight. This is the post-fight interview. I didn't tell anybody we were going to do this, so. Uh, <laughs> so you're in the Condor. Seems missiles won out. What strategy there was simple. Just kite the brawler. Yeah, yeah, and uh, my speed. I, I'm full frigate skills and afterburner skills. So my speed outsped him, and he just couldn't keep up. He never even got in range. Yep. Uh, yeah, we could see he was he was trying to pop shots there, and none of those seemed to land. So, um, yeah, looks good. Uh, we've had an interesting mix of brawlers being able to get webs on and kiters being able to keep people at range. So it's been pretty fun to watch the different strategies work out. So uh, go ahead and take off and get your ship prepared for the next fight, and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Next, it's hand versus hand. <laughs> oh, man. Intercorp violence. We endorse that here. <laughs> All right. See ya. I may have to take a short intermission to see if I can fix the bracket because Durka has moved two of the contestants around. So right now it looks like we have Moose Butter versus Yesan. If I'm saying that correctly. Uh, it looks we are in Execution versus Condor. And they uh, were not originally together on the bracket, if I am right. Yes. All right, looks like they are far out as he very far out. Or that's Durka. That's Durka. Okay, the fighters are ready. Oh, I see him. They're below me. Okay, whoops. Don't want to do that. I accidentally lock on people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm observing, and I think we are ready. So we have lasers versus missiles this time. Awesome. Okay. I'll Thank you. Started. Sorry, what's that? Who are the two fighting? Uh, we have Yason and Moose Butter. So we got a Condor versus an Executioner.
late for the court fleet. Thought you were interviewing winners. Oh, I, I was interviewing winners for the most part, but I did have some questions about your build. So, but it's all good. Appreciate you stopping by, and it was a good fight. Okay, uh, we're off to an early start with Jason taking some damage from Moose. Moose is in the Condor. Jason is in the Executioner. Those uh, longer range missile builds seem to be very deadly. We are now half through armor and Jason. He doesn't seem to be trying to close the distance here, so I'm not sure if he's going to try to... Looks like he's trying to run some reps, maybe get a little range. Jason is already into Hall. The Condor seems to be keeping pace. Oh, he's running straight at the Condor now. I think I was looking at the wrong person. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Looks like the Condor is just able to keep that kite. And that's... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the biggest downside is uh, you have to recognize you're screwed, fly the other direction, and do a rubber band maneuver. Um, sometimes it pays off, but you got to figure that out pretty quick. Because um, he just kept trying to approach because he's a brawler, right? Right. Uh, unless unless you can trick that kiter, which if all they're doing is orbiting you, 100% you'll catch him. Um, so you're talking the idea is if they're orbiting you, you fly away, so the orbit brings them into an approach pattern, and then you mm -hmm. turn on them and try to catch yep. them as they yep. into range to get a web off or something, right? That's what you're talking about with the rubber band? Yep. Because they're headed straight towards you, you would flip around. I mean, you got to time it right, but you flip around and head straight towards them. But don't approach. You you manually pilot it. Yeah. And when their ship tries to turn around to run back away, if you're lucky, it delays on them enough that you're close enough for webs to get your webs off, and then they're yours. I definitely am curious to see if any of these are running micro warp drives because. I feel like that would have helped them close that gap. I'm guessing they're not. Right. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll pull a moose in and. Hey, moose. You got Mike. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, Moose. Hey. So your fight went well. Looks like uh, you're running kiting with some missiles. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, I was able to hit him a little bit, probably with, I'm assuming, beam lasers. I hadn't even looked at his kill mill yet, but he was way too far out of range for him to hit me. Oh, yeah. He had strike cannons. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh, that was interesting. Strike cannons. I guess I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, it looks like he was trying to close that gap, but couldn't quite quite burn in close enough to land any heavy shots on you so all right well uh the condor missiles seem to be a pretty popular choice and seem to be doing pretty good so that'll be, be interesting if we get two condors against each other it might come down to skills versus how far their ranges are how they how they exactly approach maybe after each other maybe some cap issues too we'll see all right. Possibly. It may be also dependent on speed as well, um, because I know that missiles have a hard time with 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 fast their, ships. You know, yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, uh, go get uh, repaired up at the nearest station, and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Already, already good to go, sir. All right. Thank you. Go. The unfortunate thing with missiles, and I commented on this with the guys in the room, it, it's. It will take this tournament. Um, they're they're too strong right now. But not only that, they don't take cap. Right. Um, those and cannons are the only two weapons that don't take cap. I mean, he was surprised I was cap stable in my Etron two with with reps, <laughs> <laughs> um, active reps. But I I mean, my skills are fairly high, and so it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be missiles. I think. Um, the only way it's not going to be missiles if you were in like my Atron, but then when it was Atron versus Brawler, I, 
I, he he ate me up because again he's got missiles. I yep. I, it's rough with the missiles being overpowered right now. I mean I get it right. Use them while you can. Sure, absolutely. It's but yeah yeah you just got to be able to. I mostly fly Atrons and they they get ripped up by missiles. So everything else my Atron will tear up. But... Yep. But you should. Uh, Yep. My dear missile friend lovers, uh, <laughs> the next contestants are ready to, to fight, so I'll, I'll get, if you're ready, I'll get them started. Yeah, it looks like we have the Hound and a Slasher 2 and Zomps and Atron 2, so no missiles in this round, uh, we don't think. Uh, should be cannons versus railguns, but we'll see what they fitted. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Dirk. These guys on follow so I can see health bars. Uh, so Slasher is quite fast, so should be able to keep up with or the Atron and them. The, the speed's not going to be like a huge difference, right? No. Yeah, yeah they're going to hit each other. Oh, it looks like the Slasher is trying to kite out some. We got hits landed. So uh, Zomps is in the Atron, has now taken down the Hound's shield. Uh, Hound is repping, but Zombs is taking heavy damage. He's into armor already. Now they're both into armor. Uh, looks like they've started to get some speed because they're kind of stalemating off the reps on the Hound. He's built about 25, 30% of his shield back up. Zombs is now almost out of armor completely. Does not seem to be repping. Oh, Hound is now into... Oh, they're both in. Oh, and Hound goes down. They Zomps. were banded. Did you see that? Yes, I did. That was some interesting physics. <laughs> so the Atron 2 squeaks that out at the end. Hound is down. Atron 2 is about half of Hall. That was a really fun fight. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Speedy ships, brawler ships. I think they were going web and then got out of each other's range, rocketed away from each other, and then came screaming back. Yeah, yeah it did look like that. Let's, uh, let's see if we can pull Zomps in and we'll ask him if that's what happened here. Zomp. You got Mike. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it's some, I think Zom's on mobile. He's, he's, he's okay. responsive in game, but uh, not not on voice. Okay. Um, okay. So the first bracket is completed. We've we have seven winners. Um, what? So obviously, um, you know, uh, um, uneven numbers. Um, so somebody will have to get a buy. Yeah. Can, would can you redo the bracket so that it automatically selects one person? Sure. Uh, uh, well, I'll try. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. Stream, I'm going to put you on intermission for a little bit and mute some mics. We're going to work out some logistics for the next round. And then we'll come back and pick it up here in a couple minutes, okay? Uh, here we go.
All right, let's bring her back in here. Oh, my window's all weird. Okay. So, not sure why. It is, but it is, and we'll just deal with it. Okay, so uh, we'll bring the bracket back up here. Uh, just a quick announcement. Uh, the first round went a little shaky with a couple of the matchups. Some people didn't show up or whatever. So Dirk has resorted it out. We had seven winners all together, which kind of makes an uneven bracket. So we got a random draw for a buy. It looks like Edward Blood will get the first round buy into the semifinals. So lucky boy. Uh, and then right now, Dirk is setting up the next fight. I want to say the seven people, I think four, four or five are missiles, I think. So there's a good chance that we're going to see some Condor on Condor action. <laughs> yeah. That'll bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> all right. So uh, just a reminder for anybody who's just now tuning in. Uh, sorry we had to go on intermission. We are now into round two. We are running a 1v1 cheap frig tournament. These builds have to be under $2 million. Can't use anything over Mark V. No faction weapons, none of that kind of stuff. Trying to keep it fun and cheap. We fight till somebody's potted and then the winner moves on. And we're fighting for, there's $100 million of, or $100 million isk worth of prizes. You gotta be careful. I'm sure some lawyer will eat that up. <laughs> million dollars. Uh, the... This is brought uh, by my, not my corp, but the carpet I'm part of, which is uh, hand. And then the other half of the money was donated by SPQR. So we chipped in. The winner of the bracket gets 75 million, and the second place gets 25 million. Yes. So that is what we're working on here. We're getting ready to start round two. So far, we would say that. Condors with a little bit of kite and some missile action have kind of dominated, but there's been a couple good fights where a brawler was able to get webbing on somebody and mess them up pretty hard. Um, hey, the guys are getting in position. There was a crash, so it should just take a few seconds. Okay. Um, who, who was the first fight? It's going to be Organics against a Buddy Count Medic. Roger that. Um, somebody else offered to, uh, uh, do some commentary, uh, Mr. Hound. So if you, if you want to tag team out Robbie or you guys want to turd. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. If he wants to come in and hang out, he totally right. can. I'll, I'll throw him in. All right. You, you, My ship managed to head out into space for some reason. I'm 500 clicks out. <laughs> They're going to warp to us. It's actually nicer when you're not near the cluster because then we can see everything. Yeah, I've been trying to fight over by it or have them fight over by Dirk because he's also like 200 clicks away. Oh, you're in. Hey, Hound. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the streamer room. Oh, I feel so honored. You're super, <laughs> super special. Oh, I love being special. <laughs> so, uh, any opinions on the fights tonight? I, I've been, I really like them. Um, I don't run frigates that often. I know them, but I'm just, I'm not usually very quick with them. I'm a very fast player. And, like, I expected a lot of these fights to just be everyone's with, a, like, a small micro. Um, just zipping around, <laughs> so that's what I played. Um, and but I, I was amazed. A lot of people have been playing like distance, a little bit slower, afterburner style. And um, I didn't expect uh, who was running the uh, missiles earlier that did a lot better than I thought. Um, was that Vanessa? Vanessa was running the Griffin, which was an interesting choice. And yeah, it was 
he was able to keep kiting and missiles going. Um, mm -hmm. That last fight he did lose though because he tried to get in too close and then he got yeah, webbed and. Yeah, body count was uh, started to slingshot at the end there, and uh, just was really able to uh, to run outside of his range, um, which he could have done a little better at the beginning. And if he did that at the beginning, it would have been a much shorter battle. Um, but he did hold on to the very end there. Yeah, that was. Uh, what is organics running? I missed it the first time. Organics is running Condor Two, which so far has been pretty deadly. Yeah, yeah. Um the mi the missile kiting combo the Condor 2 has been pretty rough um and it looks mm -hmm. like body counts running Atron 2 so with a with a snub nose on it so he's going to have a he's going to have a tough time here yep. uh, on this battle he's going to have to stay at our range and then he's going to have to just zip in and out try to zipping in and out uh the fighters <laughs> are ready all right, I, um, I am following. I'll observe somebody here. Awesome. So I'll get the fight started. Yep, I think we're good. Okay. Yep, so once again, uh, it's going to look like the A-Trench is going to have to somehow close the distance and get those webs on the Condor. Yeah, big time. If he, uh, The Condor is just going to be faster. I think Organics is going to play better than that Griffin. The, or the Condor is going to play better than that Griffin. Uh, um, although that Griffin did have an interesting kit on it, it was uh, it was where are the other two, the shield boosters or the group shield boosters. Hmm. Interesting. Um, which was I thought was a really interesting choice, and it it seemed to work out really well. I mean, for that first battle, they were. Um, well, let's see what's he doing here. So it looks like he's trying the same thing. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to rubber band. Body count is actually cutting away from the condor, running some shield reps. He is taking yeah. the first initial volleys and taking maybe twenty five percent of shield, but he's repairing them. It looks they shield tanking, and that's I don't know. I wonder what rigs he's running. I don't know what rigs he's running on it. So I know this might be a little bit more difficult. His missiles can just do really, really nice damage. So it looks like uh, that didn't work. Organics decided to not fall for that trap, and he and body count is now burning toward the condor, trying to close distance. Mm -hmm. uh, Organics is down to about twenty five percent to maybe ten percent of his shield. Body count is at about half now. Okay. Organics just took a huge volley into armor. Yeah, it's just, it, armor is now completely close. gone. Close. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at this. Body it's count is quick. in hard, and Organics is gone. Oh, that is a great move. That was that was some that pretty was... good maneuvering to pull him yeah. in close enough to get looked like some webbing on him, and then get yeah. those snub nosed. So oh, yeah, that that was a really good. I mean, I think he, he definitely like picked up some some tips from that last battle and just decimated there. It seemed like he was able to get in real close, real fast. I wish I could lock on with my capsule, <laughs> 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 just sitting here dead. All right, so we need let's pull in body count and I keep saying uh, I was saying Bobby earlier, I think. So body count medic. All right, all right, body count. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you managed to bait him in to to get some of that close range on that condor, huh? Yeah, I, I got pretty lucky. I was able to dodge most of the missiles until I was within range. And uh, I got him in pretty close. You're webbing. Yeah, we actually we both webbed each other. So <laughs> he uh, luckily I was close enough when we webbed each other that he couldn't zip back out. Because if he sat right at eleven, there would be nothing I could do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was you a had great one fight. Pass. Yeah, you had one pass where you just took out 45 percent of his shield just almost instantly when he passed by you. Yeah, that was a big hit for that one. Yeah, the. Uh, Snub nose is pretty dirty at close range. Like, oh yeah. Are you? I uh, just curious. Are you specced into rail guns at all? I am. Um, I think I'm at five four. Oh yeah, it's nasty. Half, half okay, half yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. Those are gonna hit. Those are gonna hit dirty for sure. Nice. All right. Well, good fight and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank Congrats, you, Jones. buddy.
What would you... What, oh, I uh, didn't, didn't even show the fight on the stream. I'm a super good streamer here. <laughs> What would you uh, show? What would you run against something like the Conqueror there? Uh, well, with most of most of my skills, like him, I I would probably be running an Atron in this fight mm -hmm. and just rely on raw speed. Um, I, I mm -hmm. forgot to ask him I, if he had a micro warp drive because I think I would have brought a micro warp drive to this. I think he's running afterburner, as I recall. Um, I was uh, kidding with him earlier today, or kidding up with him earlier today, and I think he went he went afterburner. Um, although he seemed to be a lot quicker than just a normal afterburner. So he may have changed that I didn't realize. I'll, I can message him right now. Oh, I set this tournament to scores. Well, never mind those scores. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can give him one. There we go. Submit scores. <laughs> Yes, micro warp drives are hard on a budget. I, I do agree with that. Well, actually, now, so I picked mine up for 500,000. So, like, just a small MK3. Um, so, a two mil budget, I mean, depending on what you're doing there, but a two mil budget was, I actually found myself trying to find ways to spend more money. Um, of course, I just, I did go with a slasher with some basic stuff. Um, uh, and didn't really kit hard, but you know, I think I only spent 1.5 with a micro drive. What what was the what would you say the biggest cost is for or like a kitting, say like a Condor two? I don't usually kit Condor twos or Condors. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously the the ship's about a mil, right? Yeah. So, and then you got to keep it somewhat on the cheap. Um, I know people have to dodge on the riggings because like riggings are super expensive. If you go for damage ones, they're already over two mil. So that that's been yeah. kind of an interesting to see. Yeah, one, of the, mm -hmm. one of the nice things I know they they allowed for the prototypes, prototype rigs, which yep. definitely helped out a bit. Which I think that uh, that definitely made it more of a, a challenge or more of a uh, an interesting way to kit out. Yeah, specialize. My thought on allowing that was I wanted some more variety, and with the two mil limit on regular riggings, mm -hmm. I felt like it was gonna everybody would end up finding kind of the same meta where if you could use prototypes, uh, it would allow you to spec damage if you wanted to or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my uh, other guy, gentlemen, this sorry, and trap. Yeah, no problem. Uh, there's. Uh, somebody had to go back to the station to heal, so we're just going to move up the fight. Uh, sure. And we're going to have um, Joe fight Moose. All right. Bracket okay. three, Joe and Moose. Perfect. So oh, Condor, here's our Condor versus Condor action we've been looking for all night. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, we'll be right back. Yeah. One of these was Kite and one was Brawl of them, weren't they? What was that? One of the Condors, one of these two was Kite Fit and the other one was Brawl of Fit, so... I think Moose Butter is Kite, uh, if I remember from the last battle. I think we got a hacker. Baratech GG, thank you so much for that follow, appreciate that. Don't know if I mentioned, but... Neo Elements, also thank you for the follow 35 minutes ago. Sorry, chat, it's a little hard to <laughs> run the game and see the chat, but I am I am looking. I do appreciate everybody showing up. Uh, just while we're in the lull here, just a little try to keep people up because I don't know who's coming in and co going out. We're playing Eve Echoes. We are running a 1v1 frig tournament. Cheap frig, trying to keep everything under $2 million for budget. And we're fighting for $100 million ISK in prizes. I think we got a hacker. First, first place prize gets seventy-five million isk. Second place, twenty-five million isk. Uh, so far, the the meta win has mostly been missile kiting from like some condors, but we've had some really good fights where brawlers are able to get in, get some webbing, and once and they hit way harder. So once they get in, it's kind of game over, and it's kind of the it's kind good. of the fights you want to see where they're they have to dogfight a little bit. It's been quite fun. 
Okay, the next uh, contender are ready. All right, so we got uh, Moose Butter and Joe Harrison, both in Condor 2s. So this will be their first Condor on Condor fight. We'll see if uh, I forget which one, if their question is, was one brawler before? I don't remember, so I guess we'll find out. Nafa Lal Fell. Sorry, I'm going to mess that up, but thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. And Dirk, we are ready, I believe. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get it on. So both missile boats, both, both shield... Right? Shield rep, if yeah. you're going to be running it. One was extender, um, which is... Oh, extender? Nice. Oh, right. You were Yeah, you were saying we had that extender fight earlier, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, it looks like they're going. Moose seems to be burning away. Yeah, he's kiting. Yeah. Joe's trying to move in. Joe is taking the first hit. He's at about half his shields right now. Big hit on that one. So far, no return fire to Moose, or at least it's not landing if it is. Burn away there. like that. I'm, I'm thinking of the other the other ones can't can't rain or can't keep up. The rough part about this is Joe is brawler fit with the extender, and mm -hmm. he has active with the long range. If Joe can't catch him, I mean, yeah, it's just he's gonna be hurting. It's, it's gonna be a slow fight, but it looks like a just running approach at what twenty probably. I yeah. honestly feel like Moose is just burning out in a direction. I don't even think he has a approach on. Oh, uh, oh yeah, he just keep changing direction there. Like Joe's trying to orbit because his ship's coming at an angle the whole time. Yep. And he can't catch. He's down to about 25%. Oh, Joe is turning around, looks like. He's going for the slingshot. Nice. It's, it, it's a bold it move, like Moose might be. It does look <laughs> like Moose might be orbiting him, so that actually might work for him if he can get it down. Joe's still sitting at about a third of his shield. Doesn't look like he's repping. Uh, he already popped his... Uh, extender. Extender? Extender. Gotcha. Yeah. What's the cooldown on the extender? 60 seconds, generally. Yeah. 60 se yeah. Oh, he's making a hard turn here. Might be trying to close that distance. I think it's going to end up being a slow fight with this one. Yep. He's regained up to about half. Oh, he took another hit. He's back down to 25%. So he might be trying a couple maneuvers to see if he can bait him in closer. Yeah, if he can time those missiles right, he can pull out out of the range of the missiles and then move back in every time. And that's just that's a lot of micromanaging to do. We were talking about possibly having uh, some time limit mechanic on the next one, <laughs> where either you're forced yeah. to move in or. You can't be over 10 kilometers. Yeah, like after so many minutes, you got to burn in. My my previous uh, tournaments I've held, we've got to center a can for each throw. Random object, doesn't matter. Sure. But um, you, your engagement range is a certain distance from the can. And so your oh. ref is on the can, and they can see ranges. And then after a certain amount of time, the bubble, your range closes. Oh, nice. Gonna go like a PUBG style. Yeah, right. That's a that's a fun battle. The biggest downside is it favors brawlers, but if the yeah. fighters are doing their job right, they, what is what is your usual radius from the can on that kind of thing? Um, in the past, I've done anywhere from starting it to 100 kilometers out, just to like say. Free range go, 
Because mm-hmm. then they don't have to care about their orbit. They don't have to care about blah. And then, mm-hmm. you know, a couple, two two minutes in, maybe. I mean, I think last one, I even did a minute. Minute in, you, you crunch that down um, to about half. Um, and then they actually have to care a little. Yeah. Like, so Ooh, Joe takes that. another volley. He is now out of shields, it looks like, or pretty close to it. He, he should be. His extender should reset here in a second, though. The problem with the extender is. It oh, he just took a big, buff. big armor hit. He did. Oh well. Yeah, but I gotta he get. Only gets, he only gets so much shield right back from it while it's. Gloves up. Oh, we have, yeah. armor is almost out now. He's at maybe ten percent. Took another he big hit. On, but even with his extender. You can't. I mean, that only lasts for twenty seconds, right? The extenders, right? Or is it 10, yeah. So then, then it all goes away. And then, right? Then it all goes away. So he gains a little bit of shield while it's protecting him, but he doesn't rip any of that armor back. He doesn't rip any extra shield back. Yeah. And against missiles, that's hard. I mean, yeah. it's doing an even amount of all against all types of uh, shield. Right. Yeah. Is Joe running? He's running extender. Is he also running um, uh, hardeners at all? So his hardener's out of the range. Joe's yeah. now into hall. Oh, this is about to be this is about to be game. He just lost his. He just popped his extender. I'm gonna say 20 seconds ago. So yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, he's now into about maybe 20 percent of his hall left. This is probably. Let's see. Can I really bring out some maneuvers here? And there it is. Yep. Game. Good fight. Good fight. I feel like that's sort of what you expect from a, from that with a, with a missile, with a kite like that. I mean, it's going to be difficult unless you're running speed, and you'd have to be running a micro on that, and then you're just running too fast for your own missiles. My favorite build that I want to see for stuff like this generally is a defensive web fit, mm. where you're faster than everyone else. But if anyone does get close to you, instead of your webs being aggressive to hold them in that zone, you keep them out at 12 or more. Interesting. So that, that would probably go well against someone like Body Count who's running um, who's running Snub Nose. Right. Yep. That's what I tried to go against when I ran mine. So mine was, I was running dual webs with strike cannons. My goal was to stay at about 18 kilometers um, with a micro on. It did not work well for me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Although I think we were both running micro, so he was able to get in. Vex Crate, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate uh, that. We were both, we were sort of like running the similar t- uh, kits together. It just went poorly for me. I'm going to admit I just brain farted. Moose won that fight, right? Uh, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, take a quick look at the bracket again here. We have one more fight to re- finish up. I know this says round one, so if anybody missed it, we kind of had to shake up with round one, had to redo the bracket. So round one is actually round two. And uh, we have finished two of the three fights. We are now working on bracket two, which will be Dorsey and Zop. Which I believe Zop is in the Atron and uh, Dorsey is Dorsey in Executioner. The executioner. Yep. Yeah. Running lasers. Although he is he's a frigate guy. So I think he's five five Oops. for his frigate skills, for most of his frigate skills. Um guys, Moose is interested in giving some commentary about his build if you wanna Yes, yes. Uh, oh, I'd like to hear his build for sure. Yeah, let's pull him in here. Moose. Tell us. All oh. all about your build and your fight, because it was uh, quite an interesting fight. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. He's he's got a similar build. I just looked at his kill mill to mine. Um, he made two fatal mistakes. That I'll just share this for anybody who wanted to want to learn a little bit more about the kiting world. Uh, one in this particular scenario, in a long fight, you don't want a buffer tank. You want an active tank because worst case scenario, uh, you can go outside the range, heal up, and then go back into the fight and go, and you could last pretty near. Mm-hmm. as long as you need to so buffer fit was pretty pretty big no-no but he actually had similar range as me but he couldn't hit me because he approached me yeah uh, and i moved it outside of my range 
So those are two major, uh, pretty fatal mistakes that he made. He, he a couple of times adjusted his uh, positioning, his approach, but uh, still went after me. And because of the flight velocity of missiles, you can actually increase the range that you um, can shoot at just because they'll fly into the range of your missile by the time they actually get to them. So that was uh, that was kind of his mistakes there. But other than that, it was a good fight. It was a great yeah. fight. Cool. Well, thank you for the commentary and the builds. That was super good. And good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, gentlemen, the next contestants are ready. This one I'm looking forward to, for sure. Yeah, so uh, we're talking laser, railgun, probably both brawler. Yeah, I mean, my money is on Dorsey, but he's also my guy. <laughs> so I am a little biased towards him, but I have seen him fight. I fought with him a lot. He is a frigate fighter. He's my he's one of my pirate hunters. So <laughs> it's fun to watch him fight for sure, especially since he is he's usually he's usually a brawler. Uh, I, what I'm most looking forward to is that actually seeing some weapons graphics go off. For some reason, the the missiles are not rendering when I observe the yeah. missile fights. I, I've been seeing that. <laughs> it doesn't even look like they're shooting. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> so a uh, little bit boring. Sorry for that stream. That's not normal. Normally, you can see missiles going off. For some reason, I'm observing them. They don't render. So, uh, all right. So let me follow these guys, and we can go. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get the guys started. Thanks, sir. Both of these are pretty fast ships. Is, is they trying to tad faster? Uh, by raw specs, it should be. Yeah. Hard to tell with skills. Sounds like yeah. uh, Solomon in the Executioner is skilled, so might be able to keep up. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know Zomp's stuff. Um, I mean, he was real quick in that battle that I did with him. Yep. So he should be able to. He should be able to move quick with this. Interestingly enough, he is starting facing away from the executioner, it looks like. I don't know if that's yeah. on purpose or if that's just. Again, rules. There's no pre locking. All right, looks like the battle is started. Executioner is burning in. Flat drone. Just straight. Webs straight at each other. They're both into yeah. shields. Looks like Solomon is now into armor. Zomp has a tad bit wow. of shields left. Solomon is repping, it appears. Gains some armor back. He's now at about 25% armor, 50% armor. Wow. Another big volley from Zomp. Zomp is now out of shields, but Solomon is out of armor. We're now into oh. hull. Yeah, that's a big brawler one. Yeah, it looks like Solomon is taking heavy hits. He's at 50% hull. Zomp still has almost all his armor. Yeah, I don't think those lasers are going to come through. I think with Zom's... Uh, Big hits from the rail guns, and that... It's so close. There. Oh, there's, he's still... There he goes. And we yeah. have Pod. Solomon yeah. gets tore up by the rail guns. Is Zom running uh, armor tank there? Uh, as an Atron, he should be. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's going to be a difficult... That's a difficult matchup for anyone running lasers there. Just Very much so. The moment you go through anger... Uh, uh, through... Yeah shield it's just it's just gonna stop up every yep. time yeah the glente ship should be armor so uh let's go ahead yeah. and pull zomp in here and see what he thought about the fight he might not uh, he might just be in chat or was he here earlier no he's the one he's the one that does not oh right okay you're right so he's on mobile only that's right all right yeah uh maybe we pull solomon and then see if he's got <laughs> <laughs> uh that was Dorsey, right? Yeah, Solomon Dorsey. All right, Dorsey. Uh, normally, we're pulling the winner just for the fight, but he doesn't have comms, so we'll call you in and see how you feel about the post post fight there. Executioner versus Atron. Okay, yeah, they're going to hit hard. Yeah, they they yeah. do it hard. So is that uh, we feel it's just a matter of the lasers not breaking through armor, or? Uh, no, I got a. I got out of range there. I made a mistake. I could have bum rushed. I tried to orbit him a little farther because, uh, you know, shorter range than everything else. But apparently, he has the skills to make up for it. So that was a really good fight. Those railguns. Yeah, those 
hard. Yeah, those rails, once they get through your shield, I mean, they don't do anything to shield, but once they're through your shield, they'll just tear through armor for sure. Oh, yeah. As soon as my shield so. Were you running yeah, a shield on, tank yeah. there? Were you running armor? Or, like, what, what was your um, defense style there? Oh, I just had an armor rep. It was mostly okay. a tank. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, nice. That was a good fight for sure. That was a great that was fight. Absolutely a wonderful fight. Cool. All right, well, we're gonna ones are just so much fun to watch. I'm gonna have to go get an Atron now. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy my Atrons. I do like them. All right, well, thank you so much for participating, and it was fun watching. Thank you. Yeah, good job, Solomon. Good job. Thanks for having me. All right, looks like Dirk is setting up the next fight. Looks, oh, I got to set up here. Is this body count in Edward Blood? It sure looks like it. So uh, Edward was the very first fight, so those who weren't around for that or didn't see it, he is actually in a Tristan, and he is um, running some drones. <laughs> so, oh, uh, that's right. He is, that was an interesting fight. Uh, he took on um, Shura's boat, which was a laser boat. Uh, what the heck do they call those things? I've already forgotten the name of the boat. Uh, the Amar... Uh, a Punisher? Yes, he was running a Punisher. And uh, it was a good fight, but Edward did come out on top on that one. Yeah. That one also seemed like a quick fight on that for those uh, for those drones. Yeah, it took them a little while to like, get to their dance, but they both came in kind of close and just mm -hmm. orbited each other. And then once the drones started kind of getting their teeth in, he was able to really out-damage Shura's lasers um did they say what what drones he was running on there or has he got a, a, uh, a bunch of them he shared oh, i don't know that was way back uh let's see here uh hey guys so the next contender are ready okay so it looks like he's running uh it doesn't show me drones on his fit for some reason hmm. all right well, well I, is that a my oh it is a nose frog too all right, uh, I am observe. Oh, let me follow him real quick so I can see. I'm curious if Body will take the time to defang or if he's going to try and fight through it. I think he's going to try and fight through it. That's that's what he's been doing. Well, it's sort of what he's been uh, trying to do for the first two matches. Um, I think he'll be a well. The Tristans are usually pretty quick. Is, is the the Atron's quicker than the Tristan? Correct though. I would assume so. I'm if you usually stick it right, that Tristan's. If he's doing it right, that Tristan will not get caught. Yeah, I've seen Tristan's take on pretty big, uh, like uh, encounter missions, like T six encounter missions by themselves. They're long, they're long battles, but I've seen them do it just by by just kiting really quick. So I mean, he if he can kite um, body count medic here, um, body count's gonna have a tough go. Although I did think that last time too, um, and then he came out on top pretty quick. All right. Well, only one way to find out, boys. Let's yeah. send them at each other. Let's do it, Dirk. All right. Edward seems to be facing away. Again, not sure if that's strat or if that's just how they ended up orientated. I'm going to have to do the approach thing. I manually turned around, like, after I did the approach. Are they started? Oh, yeah, it started. Yeah. Uh, they're out. Oh, it looks like. Whoa, he closed real quick. quick. Closed yeah. real quick. Oh, there he is. He was in there real fast. Yep. Uh, Edward is in half shields. They're both in half shields, so they're both taking about equivalent damage. Uh, looks like there's some shield repping going on from body count. Interesting choice in Atron. Edward is now into armor. They're both into armor, but it looks like Edward is running armor reps. He's healed through the damage. I'm, I'm a little curious on uh, why not tack the drones. I think because he reps that shield rip. It cycles pretty fast. I think he's opting for burn through it. That Atron is just moving at insane velocities oh my gosh, right now. That is crazy. Does, um, has Eve Echoes implemented when you're moving towards it with projectiles, it does more damage? Like cannons or rails? Ooh, I don't know. Not that I have seen, but I don't know. Okay. I so uh, Edward is yeah. now into hull, but they're both at about quarter armor. But Edward has taken some hull damage. He's now almost completely out of armor. Still repping. 
I almost can't keep track of the Atron. He's moving so fast. Yeah, he's moving super quick. Oh, Edward is in trouble. He's down to about a little under half. Paul, still repping. He doesn't seem to be landing too many hits on body count right now. I think he's just... What is his uh, What is his other uh, weapon type? Lasers? Or rails, right? He was lasers. Oh, he's lasers. Okay. All right, the Tristan's taking heavy damage. He's got very little health left. That might be it right there. The lasers Ooh. might not be able to hurt that armor. He's repping pretty See, hard. He has 1% hold. Yeah. He's <laughs> repping really? his armor. He, he, yeah. he's, he's repped back up to almost full. He seems to have burned out. Maybe maybe the cap went out on the Atron. He was able he to get away. Yeah, body count struggled with that the first time with not being cap stable. Body count's trying to defang right now. Oh, he's calling in drones? Called him back in? He's just swapping out drones. In. He didn't actually pull it in. Oh, no, no. That drone. But they. He does seem to be trying to burn away. He's actually got some shield back. They're right on top of each other. Oh, yep, he's. Yep, Atron is burned back in. Webs are back up, it looks like. Heavy volley armor has almost gone on Edward once again. What is uh what is body count at right now? Uh he's uh almost lost all armor. He's got a ten minute of shields, but he has full haul. Edward keeps repping and keeping just the tiniest bit of haul. Gosh, he's just he's holding out. He's holding his Oh he he's got body card into haul now. Wow. Well, this could be a crazy turnaround. With one percent haul left to <laughs> it. Gosh, he's that, is a, that is a pullback for sure. Oh, he has got heavy haul damage on body. Body is yeah. now down to about 10, 20%. Oh, my wow, word. This is gonna be and there it is. Boom. Big hit from oh, Edward, man. and body count takes the pod. Wow. Oh, wowzer. That was, did, did Edward move much there, or did he basically just sit still? I, I felt like he was burning away there once, he got, once the cap went off, so... I don't know, we can, we can probably ask him, huh? Yeah. Let's see here. Edward. Structure is 47. All right, Edward. I'm bringing you down. I, All right, yeah. Repeat what you just said. Your structure is at... My structure is at 47. We were just out of our minds watching your hall sit at a sliver of health. <laughs> oh, man. I, I was about crapping myself, too. So. Uh, All right, so walk us through kind of like... You were obviously in pretty bad shape. He had full armor, full haul. You were armor repping pretty hard, but you were down to like nothing on haul. And you managed to get out away from him a little bit. So maybe a cap ran out. Were you able to switch up some tactics? As soon as I got away from him, my cap ran out and turned off both my thrusters and my armor. Oh, no. Uh, my armor rep. So. Yeah. That oh, man. It looked like you both lost cap for a second, and he just gonna get get it back fast enough. Did you re, did you regain cap faster? And you were just uh, yeah, I, I regained I regained cap enough to start armor repping again, Got and it. I didn't Got even it. throw the shield uh, afterburner on. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Just to give all power into the rep and try to heal right. through it. Trying to trying to get every ounce into rep, hoping it would work. Now it looked like he. Oh yeah, go for it. Go. No, I was just gonna ask. It looked like at one point he was going for your drones. Did you recall them in or? No, no, nope. I didn't recall them. They okay. automatically came back, which I don't understand that because I didn't hit that button. But, that was uh, interesting to watch because it just looked like they were all coming back. I was like, "Are you switching out drones here?" Or no, no, no. Uh, what drones are you running? Because we can't necessarily see uh, it. In the... Warriors. Yeah, I saw that. Let me. It should be warriors. Yeah, I can see them. They were warriors. Okay, warriors. Cool. All right, well, that my, sure, my, my 75 DPS here, so. Yeah, well, it, it worked. Uh, you've now had two very interesting fights. Uh, it's been very interesting. You were the only one that brought this ship in this style, so it's been fun to watch. My, my goal was to try to find the cheapest ship possible to run in this. Uh, <laughs> my my whole fit is at 600,000. Holy oh, wow. smokes. <laughs> well, you know, cheaper might be better in this case. It right. might be, like... <laughs> I figured I was going to lose right away because I had zero armor, uh, frig skills and small laser skills when I started, and uh, I've been slowly trying to strain while train while this whole thing's been <laughs> going on. These skills. Train, wait, wait. <laughs> always go last. Always go last. Go. One more point. One more point. <laughs> right. 
I mean, it works so far. I mean, you're what second? You're gonna be second place at least, the very yeah. least. Yeah, I'm. So means... I'm at least second. So yeah, you've yeah, secured that twenty. I've there. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, it's uh, Zomp or Moose bus Moose Moose Butter that I'm up up against. So that's awesome. I'm excited. I didn't think I'd make it this far. I didn't. I, didn't, I expected sure to knock me out that first round. So. Yeah, lasers have had some very hard times in here against armor. So his lasers against your armor rep, like that, that was roughing for him. I think in the first, first one. So. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. That was a great show. We can set up for the next one for sure. Yep. Wrap up. Go to go to station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get healed up there. It's gonna cost him the whole price of his ship to repair that thing. <laughs> Um, right on, guys. So we have the next fight coming up. The guys are getting in position. So we got uh, Moose Butter versus Zump. Oh, so a kite versus a brawler. That's going to be fun. All right, so oh. very interesting. See if Zump can get in close enough for this. All right, so we're, the, we're back to the Atron versus the Condor again. So, yep, so Zomp has to run in and close that distance quick, right? Yeah. Uh, are you guys ready? Uh, let's see. Are they out here? Yeah, it looks like they are. Observe. Yep, in position. Yep. All right. I'm observing. I got them followed. Uh, let me switch my scene back. I just want to show everybody the bracket. All right. I am ready. Okay. Get started. I can't believe uh, Edward was like at 600 K for the build. Yeah, for the whole build. <laughs> Super cheap. And he's right there at the end now. Man. That's fun for sure. I mean, that's the whole point of this. Being under two mil really, you know, it, it seems to keep things pretty similar, but at the same time, it allows you to do a little bit of specking, especially with those prototypes, um, to, just to make this kind of challenge your own. Because two mil is not a lot, especially even for a frigate, it's not a lot. Yep. If if you want to go specific, especially if you've got skills for a specific thing, but it, you can really get some interesting builds now, especially with prices dropping on like basic frigate stuff. Prices have come down just ever since people hit T7. Yeah. Uh, prices have dropped down a lot. All right. So uh, Zomp is closing distance, but he's taking a huge volley. Oh, he just turned around hard, uh, but he did get some hits on Moose. Looks like he might be trying to rubber band him. Zomp is sitting at about 20. 20% shields. He's now lost all shields. Moose is full up again. Zom can really, really uh, regen health pretty quick. He's taking some armor. He's taking about 25 now armor. Moose is getting some hits in, but they are pretty light. He needs to close that distance. Zom moves pretty quick, so it's going to be a little bit harder for the missiles to, to really do max damage on. What kind of is it? Just is he, he's just running normal missiles, right? I mean, you can't. I don't think you can run. You can't run rapids anyways. Actually, just had a little brain fart there. Moose is repping. He's uh, keeping shields up. Zomb is almost out of armor. He's making a couple maneuver changes, trying to close that distance. Moose is doing a good job of keeping him at range. Yeah, it looks like oh. just. Oh, oh no. did he get webs? Did he get webs? Moose just took a huge volley. He's, oh. he's out of armor. It looks like got webs on him. And that. Oh! They're, they're neck and neck right now into Hall. I think we got a hacker. Those webs could have been game changing out there. He's got some repping going on, but there, there's. Oh, Zomb just took a big hit. He's at about 25% Hall. Moose is taking damage too. I think he's trying to keep distance now. This is neck and neck right now. Oh, my oh man, Moose took another big hit, super low on Hall, that's it. and that's it. Wow. Zomp just got potted. Whoa, that was really, wow. really close. It looked like it was going to be pretty rough for Zomp. He closed the distance and just could not, could not I finish. He got web off. I he turned his shit the second he got the web off. That yeah, that was real quick. I'm wondering if he web. had his orbit. I'm wondering if he had his orbit set wrong. Because the second he got an orbit range to turn the web on and webbed him, his ship turned around. Yeah, that was that was quite interesting. Uh, let's pull in uh, Moose here and see. 
Yeah, he got webbed. When he got webbed, I thought that was it. All right. It's it's gone. Moose. Yeah, pulled back. Hey, that, that fight. Holy smokes. Like, he had it pretty handily at first, but he looked like he got webs on you, but then something happened, and he, I mean, he hit you hard, but... He, yeah, he started hitting me hard because I had to drop my afterburner. Uh, ah, gotcha. Really okay. Long cap. There was no no choice but to drop my afterburner if I wanted to keep my tank. So he was too fast for me to speed tank, so I knew I had to drop that anyways. So. But, uh, okay, so the slowdown was just you trying to save cap, and he managed to get in range, and you just happened to brawl it out a little harder. Yep, that's exactly okay. right. Ooh, that was a great Congratulations fight. Congratulations on that. Congratulations. Like that was that was that was very fun to watch. As yeah, Zomp did a great job, you did a great job. It was really fun. Thank you. And so you advance. Uh, let's see here. You advance to the finals. So at bare minimum, you are in the twenty-five million isk range, and you are going against Edward Blood in the finals in his crazy cheap Tristan build with <laughs> drones. <laughs> this makes me laugh. Uh, I don't know if you caught it, but when he was interviewing with us, he says he's only got about six hundred and fifty k into that thing. <laughs> so, yeah, honestly, drones are pretty, pretty awesome. A lot of people didn't like them at first because they were so expensive. To start with half the game. All right. Uh, that's actually our corpse meta now is drone. So, yeah, that that seemed to be the way. I remember when the game started. Everyone was like, "It's either it's it's um, missiles or drones." They're like, yeah. if you want to just yeah. solo encounters, you just drone boat, drone boat like crazy, and then, but prices of drones just skyrocket. I mean, they're still hot, but yeah, I mean, even the little ones, he ran that well. He, uh, well, the thing about them is they have a lot more range than people realize they have. Uh, mm -hmm. On top of the fact that uh, they don't take much power grid. So you're fitting on your ship itself, you have a lot more play with power grid. Yeah. Yep. Just because your weapons don't really take up much power grid when yeah. every other ship has that issue. So. Yeah, very interesting. Point. All right. Well, it's a good I point for sure. Definitely get healed up and get back, and good luck in the finals. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Well, that's great, guys. We are up to the final. I just want to take a minute and just uh, thank uh, two corporations for donating the prize pool today. So, uh, both at 50 million, we have the Legion SPQR uh, and Hen. Uh, Guiding and Social Club both donating fifty million to the winner and runner-up. For sure. Yes, thank you so much for that. It really makes a fun prize. I mean, it's pretty hefty. You invest two million in, and you could possibly win seventy-five. Even if you get the twenty-five, that's that's a lot of fun, and it makes the, yeah. the stakes a lot higher, which is super fun. So thanks for the yeah, shout well. out there, Dirk, and thank you SPQR for helping fund it. Yeah, when I first heard about this, I'm like, this is exactly what i've been wanting to see because i haven't seen this from corpse yet um at all even alliance is really doing this other than with themselves i'm like i want to be a part of that i want to donate to that i want to make this fun for everybody and i want a lot of people here because it's just fun to watch it really is so thank you yeah. guys for putting this on yeah absolutely uh it's quite funny because when I, dirk brought it up to me i was like yeah let's do a small eight man thing we won't tell anybody about it just so we can uh test it out <laughs> I, it blew up a little bit i it, I think this is super fun. I'm glad it's worked out as well as it has. I really appreciate everybody showing up and watching the stream. I appreciate everybody participating, flying out here and watching the fights. The fights have been really good. I, I'm really happy with the way the the you know fittings of kind of the restriction on the fitting has kind of made things really interesting. Yeah. So I, I'm excited to see the Tristan in the final. Like it's just kind of crazy. So. Yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be an interesting battle. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have Edward on grid, and we're still waiting for Moose to heal up, uh, get repaired, and come back. So, what do we? I, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go no, on. go ahead. Um, so I was gonna. I, I I asked you this before, but I don't think I think we something happened and you weren't able to get an answer. You said you were if you ran in this, you would run an an Atron. Is what you're thinking? Most likely, or, I am. This is gone on, and you've seen different things happen. Is there? Is would you pick a different different kit at all? So my idea, because I was thinking about um, when we first mentioned it, I was thinking maybe I might be able to fly, but obviously that's not going to work with all the logistics. But yeah, uh, I, going on. I am pretty skilled. I, I for the longest time I specced really hard into a Camorant. 
uh, destroyer, and I have a lot of railgun. Like I'm like five five three railgun, small railgun. Oh wow. Uh-huh. Um, so my frigate I usually run just to like throw at things and get blown up, and I don't care as an Atron. So I'm used to flying it. I have quite a bit of afterburner skill, uh, but I was going to not run snubs. I was going to run the rifled ones. You lose a lot of damage, but you have up to 18 kilometer range. Yeah. Um, and I was going to attempt to like half kite some of these because I didn't know if most people were going to go brawler. And I figured with the speed of the Atron, I could stay out of brawler range and just pick away at them with the railgun. And since the railgun does both kind of shield and haul damage, uh, it's it has kind of a, a plus there. It does more haul damage than shield, but you do have advantages kind of in both places. Yeah. So uh, that was what I was going to try. Uh, if not that, then it was going to be snubs and a micro warp drive. But as we've seen with some of this, there's a lot of cap problems <laughs> in the frig, yeah. and keeping speed up is kind of a deal. So yeah, it's just yeah. definitely interesting. The, the Condor, the missiles have been really uh, powerful when they hit, but. So I don't know if it would have worked, but I'm really interested. Uh, interested to see what Edward's going to do in this one. Trying to get away from those, I mean, keeping his drones close enough, but also staying away from those missiles because he's not super fast. It seems like. I mean, he's got some speed to him, obviously, but he's not super fast. But neither is Moose Butter. It seems like so. This is going to be a really interesting uh, matchup for them. Trying to stay in range and out of range at the same time. Yeah, I'm almost curious what the range of the drones are at the this level are, are they able to do 20k or they um, got to stay at so with how he mentioned that they return that's mm -hmm. really because he outranged range. Range. yeah that mm -hmm. makes sense he, so see. his skills are not high enough is the, is his issue right his, his skills are not high enough to keep his drones on him so he's looking at optimal range is 2.4 kilometers for like a mk5 or Two, 2.4 kilometers and two kilometers fall off range. That's the base stats for drone. Um, so, I mean, with the ship, with the Tristan, let's see what the Tristan's got base. Well, keep in mind, too, that's the drones themselves. Guns, weapons. Oh, that's range. my bad. That's you're right. Not... You're right. That's my bad. Yeah. Um, you would be let's... looking at just the Tristan and then whatever, yeah. you're assuming his base skills are for drones. Yeah. The It's just got a. Uh, he's got. Uh, the Tristan doesn't have any bonuses to distance, just to their damage. Yeah, so that's interesting. So it might, and it may come down to cap. I'm not sure. The Condors haven't had a ton of cap issues, it seems, but the Tristan did run into cap issues in the last fight, so that might also play into this. Assuming well, he's the got... Condor did have, didn't he say he did have some cap issues? That's why he uh, got he got. Um... Uh, web for that second. It's because he had to turn off his afterburners, right? Yeah, with the fight with the Atron, that went on for a long time. But they, they, yeah. I think the Atron had more cap issues. So it seems yeah. that the Condor might be a little more stable with cap than most of the the ships that have been flying. So mm. this is a brawler Condor, though, isn't it? Or is this the kite? No, this, no, is, this, is, the this is the kite. This is the kite. Yep. So, gentlemen, uh, yes. the finalists are ready to battle. Right, we're ready to see it. So let me uh, switch scenes so that people can watch. Uh, again, for the stream, if you're watching, unfortunately, the missiles don't render when I observe, uh, which makes it kind of weird. But the lasers will and the drones will. So we'll be calling out health and all that kind of stuff. So I, they, if they're in position, I am in position and I am following them. And I think we're ready to go. Tristan versus Condor 2. Missiles versus drones. Let's see how it goes. I think I got my money on Moose Butter here. I like. I want Tristan to win or Edward to win. I really like that <laughs> Tristan, look, I just it's so much fun to watch. But I, I, I think my money is on Moose Butter here. I think that I'm gonna kiting... be curious because he's got the Nos too, though. And Moose last fight ran out of cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you have to well, be close enough to use the Nos to effect yeah. though. That's like five kilometers, Nos, right? You can do any range. It has fall off, which is right. Weird. But it's still so the NOS, the small NOS is two with four kilometer fall off. So he has to be, he's going to have to be within six kilometers to really do anything. Plus, he's going to have to have the Condor's cap above his to start doing anything. Because if he's got a lower, if he's right. got a higher cap, it's not going to drain. Yep. So it's just going to keep his uh, cap high enough. Um, 
as long okay. as it's close. Looks like we're starting here. Uh, we got lasers going. Uh, chat is making bets. Looks like Edward has a couple of betters on his side right now. Ten mil, five mil. Really? Yep. <laughs> they're bet. <laughs> they're betting on. They're betting on Edward's trysts. Uh, looks like Moose has already taken some shield damage from those lasers. He, mm -hmm. Edward is burning right at him. Drones are out. Uh, Gotta get close to get that NOS on. Let's look at this from this view. Looks like he's got some shield repping going on. Those drones are picking away. He's defanging him though. And Edward's not pulling him in, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, does it look like one drone is already... Returning. Gone. Returned or dead? Looks like maybe dead. Dead. He's not pulling him in at all. Moose is focusing on defanging him. Yeah, so th this was something we were wondering about earlier, is if they could pick off those drones. Is the Tristan just a sitting duck, especially with lasers? I think he might be. Yeah, and I think with missiles, it's going to be a lot easier to hit those drones. I mean, the drones are going to be fast, but... You know, you hit them enough, they're going to be gone. Yep, that is the like second drone is probably down yep. now. Yep. Moose is I think I saw it go there. repping. Uh, lasers don't seem to be affecting at this range for sure. So the Tristan has been defanged. This might be a problem for him if we can start landing some missiles. Yeah, that, that kite is just... It, it's. Edward just took a big volley. He's about half through shields right now. Edward is now into armor. I believe he had armor rep, though. This might... Hang on. If Edward's cap stable, this could go on for a long time. Edward just... Yep, he's repping now. He took a big volley, but he's almost healed it up. <laughs> Somebody said Edward had 1.5 mil to spend on extra drones. Where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question. I don't know what the... Very good question. If there is a drone hall, <laughs> can you store extra drones in a Tristan? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can swap drones. So that's what's pretty cool about it. That's one of the coolest things about the drone idea is that you can sit there. So say you've got a, a battle where you're running against a, a shield tank. You throw out all your... Um, laser drones, you get them through their shield and you pull out your other drones that could do hole damage and then, uh, which is just an interesting idea I don't know how practical that is I've never seen someone do it but it would have been cool to see it now that would have been very interesting Edward took a huge yeah. volley but he's been able to rep through it so he's back up to full armor still chasing after Moose who's just kiting him might look like Edward took a tad bit of hull damage there it's hard to tell he did Okay. just a little bit there no, no pressure, chat says. <laughs> you got uh, your alliance leaders watching, Moose. <laughs> Don't let him down. <laughs> Don't worry. If uh, if you lose, you're going to be kicked. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the alliance leader lost in the first round, uh, what does that make him? What was that? If the corp leader lost in the first round, what does that make him? Uh, I <laughs> Uh, Ed Edward's still repping through this. Oh, he took a big volley there. He took a little more into Hall. He's trying to rep some more through that. Seems like this is yeah, just going to be a game of attrition, and Edward is yeah. not able to make up any ground on this. And without his drones, it's just not getting any damage. Um, he, his his lasers are just not they're they're just clo not close enough range, are they? Yeah, and I, I don't can't see his thing. I didn't get into the thing, so it does not look like he's going to have any way to make up this distance either. Yeah. Yeah, Tristan, he's just got it kitted too slow. Definitely took another volley. He's under half hull. He's still repping back up. Oh, another big one. He's down to probably about 25% hull. Mm. Probably one more hit like that, and Close range. we might see the winner here. And this. This could be it, right? There it is. Last volley, Edward gets potted. Man, good fight, yeah, Edward. Awesome. Taking that to the final. That's big. Yeah, those so, drones were big, but yeah, once the once those drones were gone, it was it was a uh, it was uh, pretty one sided. It seems. All right, so we've completed our very first tournament.
Uh, big shout out to Moose Butter for the win. Edward for second place. Moose will take away that 75 million prize and Edward will take home 25 million prize for second place. Let's go ahead and pull Moose in here and see how it went. Moose. How's it going? The kiting worked. Yes, sir. Strategy there. Looked like you went for the defang early. Uh, yeah, there's uh, obviously with drones, the main weakness is that your DPS can just be absolutely whittled away if someone decides yeah. to do that with the drones. And you got to carry extras and you got to carry uh, damage dealing type specifics. I was talking to Edward a little bit while we were fighting. Uh, warriors do absolutely nothing against shields. Um, yeah. And of course, acolytes or much of anything else will have trouble with, with armor. But uh, so next time, maybe I'll remember to bring some extra acolytes and hopefully can break my tank before I can whittle them off. Nice. But it was a good fight. It was a great fight. Thank you so much. Great fun to watch. We had a fun night. Congratulations. You bring home the big $75 million pot. I was a little bummed that, that, that missiles won. Never <laughs> missiles win. But it was a good, you, you did put up some good fights for sure. That was a lot of fun to watch. Congratulations. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. So do you mind if I do a shout out? No, absolutely. Go for it. Awesome. Well, I'm here representing two two groups. Obviously, my corp, West Dell Pioneers. So shout out to you guys. Uh, also, the Alliance, Jen Fed. I know some of them guys were watching it as well and uh, messaging me while it was going on. So shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you do. Nice. All right. Well, thank you so much. And again, congratulations. Again. Do I get to keep the loot from all these wrecks too? <laughs> I, if you picked them up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> keep what you kill. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like this stuff's only good for reprocessing. It's all in a five. Awesome. Well, again, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you. All right. Um, uh, if yeah. You wanna, Ed, Edward's going to be available for an interview if you want to talk to him. Yeah, I do. I want to ask him some uh, strategy on the, the drones here. So let's pull him in. Edward. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I think to start off, my kill mail, my, the, the, the value of my ship is 180,000 is. <laughs> <laughs> 180,000. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. been a huge topic of discussion here on, on how little money was put into the build and how far you're able to make it it was a great fight uh were you like walk us through did you strategize about maybe bringing a couple extra drones given how little you uh, spent on it I, I didn't think about it till you guys mentioned it so. <laughs> <laughs> but one of those drones is more worth more than my entire fit otherwise so okay. <laughs> that's fair that's fair uh, where you, did you see them start to go down and start to get worried? Uh, I saw the one. I was like, "Oh crap! I gotta get close," and I couldn't get close enough. So, yeah, yeah, we we watched. You just got kited, and once yeah, the drones went I, down, like I was, I was boosting as fast as I could and couldn't get there. Well, you put on a hell of a show. With a lot of the uh, poor bastards in my chat were betting millions of isk on you, and they they may <laughs> be regretting that now. But but yeah. they they were rooting for you hard, and uh, I appreciate the fight you put on, man. That was super fun to watch. Those hey, whatever, whatever they bet, they can send to me in game. All right. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Congratulations on that 25 mil. Congratulations on 25 for sure. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Thank you. Can we kick Edward from the corp? <laughs> uh, no, he's our Tristan FC now. So. <laughs> I'm Whenever. pretty sure. <laughs> I am pretty sure that my co my uh, co leaders, my co CEOs, and my corp are going to kick me now that I lost in the first round. So <laughs> body count at uh, Stockholm. I'm probably not thrilled that I just got wrecked so quickly. <laughs> I don't know what happened to this scene, but all right. Well, uh, that pretty much wraps up. Dirk, did you have any closing words? I uh, just want to give a shout out here to uh, the men, the men who uh, was at the forefront of uh, handling the tournament and, and making sure everything was was working together and planifying everything. So give, give a big shout out to Hemp. Uh, Thank you. Uh, 
Thank so, you, Amps. Thank you so much. And uh, mm -hmm. no, that's that's it. So th thanks everybody for coming on stream for 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 joining the tournament. Uh, it was it was a great first event. It really went smoothly. I'm really I'm really impressed by uh, the quality of the pilots that we had tonight. So hundred uh, percent, yeah. Well, there will be more. Yeah, we're, we are definitely in talks about what the next one looks like. We have some different formats we're thinking about bringing out, like maybe a ten or twenty ship free for all, some three on three action. Uh, we talked with a couple of the other pilots that have done similar things in their corps, and they've had some great ideas. We'll probably just steal those. Uh, no shame there in that. <laughs> uh, we'll give shout outs to ideas when we see them. So we appreciate it. Uh, everybody that came out tonight was really fun. We were able to do, you know, like you said, it went way smoother. This was our first time trying this. I was just like, hey, let's, let's make it small, but it kind of got big, and I'm happy it did because. Uh, chat's been great. The stream's been great. Everybody in Discord's been great. My co-host, big shout out to Hound and Robbie Titan. Uh, you guys came in. We kind of saved me for having a, some co-hosts and brought some great commentary because I'll admit I'm a little bit of new bro still, so I don't uh, quite know all the ship builds and all that kind of stuff that go on. So uh, big shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Do you guys have any shout outs you'd like to throw out there? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out to... Um... Uh, Solomon, just my guys who participated, um, my my co uh, my co CEO exiled uh, or uh, body count medic did a great job, um, and just congratulations to Moose there. That was a great fight. I just really enjoyed watching that for sure. That was a lot of fun. Good job uh, to everyone who participated. Like that's exact when I, when I heard about this is like that's what I wanted to see. That's the that's the kind of fight and the battles that I want to see. It was just like, that was just a lot of fun. I'm glad I was here to participate and watch that. We are Samurai. Awesome. Thank you. Robbie, got anything? Um, shout out to you guys for hosting this. I had talked Thank you. Um, past history about putting one of these together. Um, and as you can imagine, knowing our history, it didn't happen. But um, I'm, I'm glad it's coming together. Um, I will probably try and, and work with you guys to see about putting some of my own tournaments together for this. So. The fact that you guys did this, it got my guys excited. This was, I, I, I really appreciate it. This is awesome. Yeah, no problem. And we're, I'm happy to work with you guys. I, I, building the community around this type of stuff is super fun. Uh, it lets us put down like all the politics and the getting ganked and gate camps and all that stuff for a little bit and have a little bit of fun and blow off some steam. 100%. So it was, it was super fun to uh, bring people together. It, and I'm all about that kind of stuff. So definitely appreciate you, both of you guys again one more time for stepping in and helping co-host and all the pilots. Again, great job. And one more time, congratulations to Moose and Edward. Uh, so that's it. We're going to wrap it up. And uh, if you want to stay by, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> if you want to go ahead and follow the stream, I'll be doing a lot more of this stuff. Uh, I might put this video up on my YouTube channel, which has a link below if you're watching it on the stream. Uh, if you want to go through it again, I think we got a hack. don't know if you will, but that's cool. Uh, appreciate all the follows here. I'll go through some of the ones I missed. Uh, Vex, Black Horse, uh, Exiled, uh, Lone Wolf. Thank you so much for that sub. That's huge. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Minkaria and Sequel7, all thank you so much for those follows. Uh, and stay tuned. Uh, just for my sake, for who I am, I stream, uh, you know, three to five days a week. Variety streamer. I do some board game stuff. I've been doing a lot more Evaco stuff and plan to do some more of that. So, uh, again, thank everybody for watching and you know, have a great night.